this video, we are going to look at the Panorama Orchestrated VM Series deployment. This feature is introduced on Panorama version 10.0 with Panorama Azure plugin version 3.0. As a security professional and trusted with securing your organization's applications deployed on Azure Public Cloud, you'll be looking at deploying the advanced security provided by a next-generation software firewall. The most common way of securing your applications is to deploy an auto-scaling stack of software firewalls in a hub Azure virtual net. Inbound, outbound, and east-west traffic from tiered application VNets can be inspected and protected by the stack of firewalls. Deploying such a solution requires orchestrating, configuring, and managing multiple components. The administrator has to juggle multiple ARM templates to deploy and configure not just the firewall stack, but also various Azure components and services like the Azure Load Balancer. The virtual machine scale set needs to be configured to ensure that the solution can scale successfully. Also needs to configure objects like the public IP address, NAT gateways. All of these needs to be optimally configured for the solution to work. To effectively monitor the integration with Azure application inside, you need that component also configured properly. Frankly, there are too many moving components and the task of deploying and managing all of them could be quite overwhelming. Panorama orchestrated VM series deployment allows the security administrator to deploy an auto-scaling stack of Palo Alto software firewalls through an intuitive wizard on the centralized security manager Panorama. The solution not only deploys software firewall stack, but deploys and configures all the necessary Azure services and components like the Azure load balancer, the NAT gateway, the public IP address, and so on. Administrators can fully leverage the ease of use that this wizard driven orchestration flow provides while not having to juggle between multiple ARM templates. In addition to automating the firewall configuration through Panorama, the plugin also provides the Azure configuration for onboarding new applications. You get simplified operations through the centralized management of policies. The tool also prepares Azure monitoring portal to allow you to gain visibility on the usage and performance of the software firewall deployed. When you deploy the firewall stack using the orchestration tool, you can prepare the environment to scale up or down based on configurable criteria. By supporting multiple deployment models, the solution provides the flexibility to meet your specific application requirement. Before we look at all the goodness of this feature via a demo, let's take a minute to look at the deployment models that as a customer you can choose from. The first model is what we call a common hub stack that consists of a stack of firewall with an internal load balancer. You can have this stack inspect east-west traffic by configuring the UDRs uh, from your application VNets to the firewall load balancer. Same can be done for outbound traffic as well. And in this case, the traffic will be natted out. The Hubstock also secures your web application. UDRs from the application gateway can route the traffic to the stack. Based on your organization's requirement, you might also want to add an independent stack for your internet facing application. This inbound stack can scale and add visibility to your application traffic. There's also automation built in in this that will enable security administrators to quickly onboard new application directly from the Panorama user interface. With that, let's jump into the Panorama UI and take a look at the functionality. With 3.0 version of Azure plugin installed, we can start with configuring the Azure service principle. This provides the plugin with the credentials required to access and orchestrate on your Azure environment. The plugin also validates the credentials provided to ensure that the right level of privileges are assigned to deploy and configure the needed Azure services. Once that is accomplished, we can start configuring the deployment. Start by providing a name 
for your deployment. And you can also choose the service principle in case you have multiple service principles configured. Next, we configure the Azure parameters. We can select a region. The dropdown will list all the regions where you can deploy Palo Alto series, VM series firewalls. You can either choose to deploy on an existing VNet or let the tool create the VNet where the firewall stack will be deployed. Configuring directory domain, which you can identify from your Azure subscription setting, will allow the visa to configure QuickLodge links to App Insight and ARM templates. So let's start configuring the stack. We start off by choosing the deployment model. You can either choose to deploy the common hub stack for outbound and east-west or the dedicated inbound stack. As you can see, in terms of the license support, we support all the different forms. You can bring your own license or choose the different bundles that are provided. Next, you choose the VM size. VMs ranging from 300 to VM 700 are all supported. Again, you can choose from the drop-down list. In terms of managing, you can either decide to use the same device group or you can use a create a different device group. Now, if you want to create a static set of firewalls, you can keep the minimum and firewall numbers at the same. So you'll have a static number of firewalls in your stack, or you can choose a minimum and maximum number of firewalls for your auto scale. You do similar configuration for both your stacks if you are choosing to deploy both the stacks in the same VNet. We'll be looking at the details of the auto scaling criteria in a bit. The next step would be to configure the image type where you can either configure the market space image or you can provide a custom image. Note that we have we start supporting this feature from PanOS release 10.01 and above. Once you provide the credentials for the login to the VM series and your panorama details, you can move on to configuring the last stage, which would be configuring your auto scale criteria. Auto scale can be based on different criteria like active sessions, data plane CPU, or the throughput. Scale out and scale in thresholds can be set to configure auto scale parameters as you would like in your environment. We are now done with the configuration and can now commit the configuration on Panorama. Once the commit completes, the deploy option will appear and you can click on the deploy tab uh, to start deploying the various components uh, in your firewall stack. Clicking on the deploy starts the deployment and the plugin starts deploying and configuring the stack and the related Azure services. As the deployment proceeds, the status tab gives out information of the current status of the deployment, as well as the details of the different services and IP addresses as they come up. The status updates frequently to keep you informed of the deployment status. A quick link to the go-to go deployments can take you directly to the Azure portal where you can monitor the different components as they are deployed. You can see the load balancers, virtual machine scale set, application inside, NAT, IP address objects as they are deployed to complete your security stack. There is also a link provided that will take you directly to the App Insights portal, where you can monitor the status and performance of the firewall as they get deployed. The deployment typically completes in around 15 minutes and you are now ready to configure user-defined routing to direct traffic to the firewall stack for inspecting and protecting your application traffic. Firewalls in the stack, of course, auto-connect to your management panorama, and they are ready to be managed with firewall policies from panorama. As you can see, the seamless auto-connect means that the firewalls as they power up are connected directly to the specified device groups and the policies are assigned, and then you can start managing your security posture by assigning policies onto these firewalls. In addition to simplifying deployment of the security stack, the workflow also streamlines the process of onboarding new application. When your application team is ready to deploy a new application, you can prep your environment directly from Panorama. First, define the new application within Panorama, choose the protocol, and then define the front end. You can choose a new front end or choose from an existing front end. The drop down will list all the front ends that are already configured on the Azure 
and this list is auto populated directly from the Azure portal. Now in this case, let me choose to create a new front end for this application and configure the port, the IP address and the back end port for this application. Once you provide the ports and the IP address, the tool auto configures both the firewall and the Azure load balancers for the application. So let's commit the configuration and you'll see that from the firewall perspective, a NAT policy has been configured for the newly created application. You can also log in to the Azure portal and verify the corresponding load balancer configuration that has been pushed by Panorama to enable configuring the load balancer for onboarding this new application. If you look at the front end configuration and review the front end load balancer rule that has been created for this specific application. Through this demo, we saw how Panorama orchestrated workflow provides an easy, automated and flexible way to protect your Azure application with the best in breed security provided by Palo Alto Networks. Thank you.